Hi guys, so welcome to today's video. Firstly, I feel like I should have dressed up a bit more because I'm literally just wearing my Warner Brothers Studio Tour t-shirt, which um, I slept in last night and it is my pajamas. Firstly, I would like you guys to comment down below which side of my face you think is the high-end side and which side you think is the drugstore side without skipping ahead, without cheating, just looking at my face right now. So this side here is my left-hand side. So if you think that this side, like it's my left, it's gonna be your right, but this is the left-hand side of my face. If you think that this side, left, is the high-end side, then let me know down below. And if you think that the right side, which is this hand side of my face here, if you think that this side, right, is the high-end side, then let me know down below. Do you think the left is the high-end side? Or do you think the right is the high-end side? And while you are down there in the comments, make sure to give this video a thumbs up. If you like these type of videos and you want me to do like more half and half comparisons of different products um, and do more dupes videos, then definitely make sure to give this video a thumbs up and that'll let me know that you guys want to see them. If you actually want to find out, then just keep watching. I have no idea why my hair looks red on camera. Like, I think it's something to do with these new lights. I am trying to, like, fix them. I know that my lighting setup at the moment isn't perfect. But please just bear with me. I'm trying to, like, order extra stuff and, like, make the lights work properly. So I think I'm going to do this half of my face high-end and this side of my face drugstore. I will also link all of the products and the prices in the description box so you guys, like, can compare them and stuff because I don't know all of the prices off the top of my head, but um, I have, like, a rough idea of how much these different things cost. Um, so, let's begin. Firstly, for primers, I have two different primers here. They're both kind of, like, silicone based primers. So, for the drugstore side, I have the LA Girl Pro Prep HD High Definition Smoothing Face Primer. And this, you can get on Beauty Bay. I think it is £5. Um, and it's, it's quite a small little container. You don't get that much in here, it's 15 mil. And then I'm gonna compare this one to the Cover FX Blurring Primer. And um, they have kind of similar packaging. The Cover FX one has got 30 mil. I think the Cover FX one is 24 pounds and I think this one is about five pounds. Um, I'm pretty sure you can get both of these on Beauty Bay actually. The LA Girl one is a completely like clear, I don't really know if you can see that. It's like a clear silicone-y kind of primer. And then the Cover FX one is kind of a beige sort of color. But overall, I find these kind of silicone type primers always end up doing the same sort of thing. They just make your skin feel soft. I am so pink. Okay, I need to fix this lighting because it's driving me mad. Both sides of my face pretty much feel exactly the same. For foundation, my drugstore foundation and my favorite foundation of all time, like literally of all time, is the Maybelline Superstay 24 hour foundation. I have the shade 03 True Ivory. So that's what I'm gonna be wearing on my drugstore side. And then for the high end side, I have the Fenty Beauty foundation and I use the shade 120. They're quite similar in color. They're both quite like neutral yellowy foundations because believe it or not, my skin is more on the yellow side even though I look really pink right now. But honestly, I prefer the Maybelline one. This is 10 pounds, I think this one is 30 pounds. The Fenty one is a lot like thinner in consistency but they both have got like good coverage and they both last really long on my skin so that's why I'm like comparing them. The Fenty one is like super liquidy. Oh, actually it's not as liquidy as I thought. Never mind, ignore that. But it's definitely a lot more liquidy than the Maybelline one. So I'm just gonna blend this out. I really do like the Fenty foundation, but if I can find something that is literally a third of the price, then I'm gonna use that one because it's just as good. This one is probably slightly less cakey, but it's also got slightly less coverage, so. They both have like a semi-matte kind of finish, so they're really good for oily skin, which is what I have. Okay, so I'm gonna use the other side of my beauty blender. Okay, so there we go. Overall, they don't really look that different in my opinion. Like they look pretty damn similar. I honestly love both of these foundations, but um, I would say the Maybelline one just ticks the edge a tiny bit. So for the high-end concealer, this is my favorite concealer ever. No surprises. This is the Tarte Shape Tape Concealer. It's just incredible, it's so good, but it's really pricey, I think it's like $25. I got this when I was in America, and I wear the shade Fair Beige, um, but I also have shared, shed, what, shed? I also have shade Fair, and Fair works better for me. Um, and then on the drugstore side, whoa, wait, what? How have I used up that much already? On the drugstore side, I have the Makeup Revolution Conceal and Define Full Coverage Concealer. And I did like a whole video on these concealers with all the swatches of like every single shade. Um, and a lot of you guys asked me if I could compare the two of them. They have like a really similar doe foot applicator. Like they've both got a fat doe foot. <laughs> I do slightly prefer the Tarte one, but the Makeup Revolution one is literally four pounds. Like, 
How can you compare? I do find that with this Tarte one, I need slightly less than I do with the Makeup Rev. Like, you see how much that spreads out under my eyes? It's actually insane. I'm using the shade one, and I find with this that I do need a little bit more, like probably about this much. But it's just incredible, like it's such a good drugstore concealer. So this is the Tarte Shape Tape. This is the Makeup Revolution Concealer. They pretty much look the same when they're on your face. Then for powder, my favorite high-end powder, which I absolutely am obsessed with, is the MAC Studio Fix um, powder foundation and this is in the shade NC10. I got this when I was in America for $14 in one of the outlet stores. This is what it looks like. Um, it's got a little mirror and then underneath it's got like this sponge thing but I never really use that. And then the one from the drugstore which has the most similar packaging um, is the Revlon Colorstay powder. This is the same kind of concept where it has a uh, powder and then it's got like the layer underneath with a mirror and it did have a sponge in there. Um, so these two look really similar in terms of the packaging, but the powder that I actually found works a little bit better than that one. Like the Revlon Colorstay is still one of my favorite everyday powders, but the Revlon Photo Ready powder has actually got a slight bit more coverage. If you just wanna add a bit more coverage to your foundation, not that I really need to, but this MAC powder is so good for that. I think the MAC one normally in the UK is about 24 pounds, which is a lot. And I think this Revlon one is about 10 pounds. Moving on to the brows, I've t like tested quite a few different brow dupes before, like the Anastasia Brow Wizard dupe for that is the NYX Micro Brow Pencil. The Anastasia Brow Pomade, a dupe for that is the Makeup Revolution Brow Pomade. So I thought I'd do something a bit different today um, and dupe the Benefit Cabral, which looks like this. And then the dupe that I have is the the Georgia Asda Tamer Brow Cream. And the reason that I um, picked these two out is because they have like really similar packaging and like the same kind of idea. So they both have got a brush in the top that you can use to do your brows. The George one is not brow shaped. It's like a little round brush, which is so strange. This one is teeny. This is the Benefit one. This is the George one. So as you can see, there's definitely like a difference in the size of them. But these are both like a really similar formula. The colors that I have of them are slightly different. Um, the Benefit one I use in shape two and the George one I've only got I think this is in dark brown so they're kind of different in color but um, I think George do do like a blonde one I got my brows tinted and like waxed the other day like the benefit brow bar thing which I've never had done before I've never had anybody touch my eyebrows but oh my god it's made doing my makeup so much quicker because they're already like they already look like they're filled in like I barely need to do anything to my brows. But they're both like really cool tone shades, which I really like. Then for my contour, I have made a recent discovery. Um, oh, <laughs> it's literally in the mirror that I'm holding right now. The best contour product that I've ever tried is the Kevin O'Quan Sculpting Powder in the shade Light. But this is so expensive. I think it's 35 pounds for this little thing. Like how can they justify that? I don't know. But the other day I was browsing on Cult Beauty and looking at the new Bleach London makeup and they had one that looked really similar, like a cool tone contour powder that's in the same rectangular shape, which made me think of the Kevin O'Quan one, and I think this one was £4.50. And then the bleach one, let's go really light handed. They pretty much look the same. I find it so hard to find contour and bronzers that actually like look okay on my skin because I'm so pale. Um, a lot of the time they can end up looking muddy, which I think, I mean, it still does look a little bit muddy because I put on too much, but um, in terms of like comparisons, these are pretty damn similar. For bronzer, I have the Ciate Palm Island Bronzer, which has very pretty packaging. I think this one is 24 pounds, which is quite a lot of money. And then the dupe that I have, it's not really a dupe, but they're both very pale bronzers, is the Body Shop. The Body Shop Honey Bronzer in the shade one. I have been loving this recently. This one looks a bit more kind of like ready terracotta than the Ciate one. The Ciate one is more just orange. What I really like about this Body Shop one in shade one, by the way, they do other shades. If you aren't pale, then this one is gonna be too light for you. Um, but if you're looking for a really good like pale bronzer that's buildable and not too intense, then I would definitely recommend this. The next step is blush. I don't really wear blush, but I'm gonna do it in this video just because other people wear blush and it might be helpful, I don't know. I have the Ofra blush in Bellini, which is the high-end one, and then I have the Natural Collection blush in Peach Melba. This blush is an old classic. It's $1.99 in boots. It's broken. The Ofra one is just like, you get a lot more product obviously, and this one is way more pigmented. Like it's hella pigmented. I'm just taking a really small amount. 
they again look so similar this is why i have so much drugstore makeup because it is great like i don't get people that are snobby about drugstore makeup then for highlighter i wanted to find a dupe for becca pearl because this is like a white highlighter so for all of my pale skin friends out there this is very very pale so it's really gonna brighten up your face but like, eh, I don't really think it's worth the money. I think it's 32 pounds, which is ridiculous. This is the Makeup Revolution Platinum Ingot Highlighter and it's like white. I think this one is four pounds maybe? You do need to like dig your brush in this quite a bit and like build it up, but when you do build it up, it's really nice. You know, if you can build up a highlighter to be the same as a highlighter that is 34 pounds, then why not do it? Very shiny and reflective. I don't think you would even be able to tell. And then down my nose, I'm just gonna use the Becca one because I can't exactly do half and half. For the high-end side, I have the Naked Urban Decay Heat Palette, which looks like this. I have done like a full video review on this. And then the dupe that I have for this is the Makeup Revolution Reloaded Iconic Fever palette and they just have very similar shades like they've both got really warm toned colors um the makeup revolution one has got a couple of extra shades which aren't in the naked heat one but the colors in them are very very similar in between the different palettes i have this thing called a color switch or shadow switch or something i don't even know what it's called um but it's like basically it's a sponge in a tin and you can swirl your brush in it it's nothing more than a sponge in a tin and i think it cost me like 10 pounds so if you can make your own i would recommend it just get a sponge and something to put it in. I'm taking the shade Chaser from Urban Decay and then I'm going to go in with Sourced as well. So far this is just the shade Chaser which actually comes out a lot darker on my skin than I thought it would. Oh my god, how have I... I've already... And then taking the equivalent shade from Makeup Revolution palette which is this one and this one. Okay, those shades are like exactly the same. And then I'm taking this shade from the Makeup Revolution one. Oh, I forgot to mention this Makeup Revolution palette is four pounds. Wait, maybe I did mention that. I don't even know if I did, it's four pounds. And then going in with a smaller brush, I'm taking the shade He Devil, which is this like reddy orange color. And I'm just gonna focus this on the outer corner and also run it through my crease, but not like as high up. You know what, let's bring that to the inner corner as well. We'll do a kind of halo eye. Then I'm doing the exact same on the other side, but I'm going to use this shade here from the Makeup Revolution palette. So at the moment, despite my uneven blending, they pretty much look the same. I'm taking the shade on Fuego, whatever that means, and I'm going to put that in the same kind of areas just to like deepen it up a little bit. Because this isn't quite dark enough for me at the moment. And again, I'm just focusing that in my crease. And then we go on a bling. I'm taking this shade here. Dang, girl. This be my I have a dupe for the Stila, whatever the hell these are called, glitter in a tube, magnificent metals, glitter and glow, liquid eyeshadow in the shade Rose Gold Retro. And then to dupe this, I have the ColourPop eyeshadow in Walk of Fame. This is the Supernova shadow. These are supposed to be like really good dupes for each other. I haven't personally tried them um, like next to each other yet, but. Hopefully they will work. Oh my god, I forgot how much I love these. So this is the Stila one, I will do a close up in a minute, and then the Colourpop one is Walk of Fame. This one doesn't seem as glittery, it's more of like a foil, but we'll test it anyway. Okay, I lied, it's the same. It honestly personally offends me how much they charge for the Stila ones. Okay, something that I am noticing is the Colourpop one it dries a little bit more lumpy. I'm gonna go back in with these like darker shades just to like blend it in a little bit, I guess. But yeah, unless you work really, really quickly, you can't really like blend these out. Hopefully you can see that they're like really, really similar. And then on my inner corners, I'm gonna take the shade Ounce from the Naked Heat palette. And then I'm taking this shade here from the Makeup Revolution one. The Makeup Revolution one has a, got a brighter inner corner highlight. Four pounds? 30 something pounds. My favorite high-end eyeliner is the Kat Von D Tattoo Liner. This is, I've never tried like an eyeliner better than this. It's so great. Another one that I've recently got, which I haven't tested yet. Um, this is the LA Splash Architect Liner, but they've both got the like brush tip applicator. So I'm gonna give this one a whirl. 
This one is just so black and so easy to use and it lasts for ages. It's waterproof as well. My camera ran out of battery, but I'm back. I am back and I'm ready to do the other eye. If I can find the bloody eyeliner. I've just realized when I picked this up to use, I thought that LA Splash was like LA Girl, but it's not the same brand. I think this might be the same sort of price as the Kat Von D one. I'm not actually sure. I'm hoping this is cheaper, um, but just looking at them side by side, the Kat Von D one is definitely more black. Moving on to mascara, for the high end side, I have the Lancome Monsieur Big Mascara, and then I have the Kiko Into the Dark Mascara. These have got such similar brushes, and I find that they give, like, give me like a really similar effect. They're both quite clumpy, but um, if you like clumpy, thick, volumized lashes, then you might like these. So this is the Lancome one, and I'm gonna do this first. The Kiko one is definitely a thicker consistency, um, but I actually find it gives me more volume, but it's a little bit more clumpy. So these are the eyes. So for the final stage of this look, I'm gonna do the lips, and one of my favorite li liquid lipsticks of all time is Jeffree Star Celebrity Skin. And then I've actually got a few different drugstore dupes for this. Two of them are from Colourpop, and then two of them are from NYX. Then the two dupes from Colourpop I have are Magic Wand and Times Square. So I'm gonna do Magic Wand swatched right next to it. So that one there is Magic Wand. It's a tiny bit more pink. And then we have Times Square. So that one there is Times Square. I'll do a close up in a sec. And then the two that I'm gonna swatch underneath are from NYX. We have Cashmere Silk which I'm gonna swatch directly under it. And then the next one is called Bustier. Actually, no, Bustier is not a dupe of it, I've just realized. So those are the different dupes. I think the most similar one is this one here, which is Colourpop Times Square. I do have to say the formula of these are so good. They are so comfortable. Like, they just feel so nice on your lips. They don't feel dry at all. So that one is Celebrity Skin, and then I'm gonna do Times Square. I would say that Times Square is a tiny bit darker. So this side right here is the high-end side, which I think looks really nice. And then this side is the drugstore side, which I think looks exactly the same. And then this is them side by side. Right, so we have come to an end. This is the finished look. Honestly, you guys, looking in the mirror right now, like I, I think I could go outside. I think I could go to a party with this half and half face on. Like I don't even think anybody would notice. I'm not gonna lie. Like I love drugstore makeup so much and hopefully this video can show you that you don't have to have Yet, like, yes, having expensive products is nice, and it's nice to, like, treat yourself or get something special for your birthday or something, but if you're on a budget and you think that in order to create, like, nice makeup looks, you need to have high-end makeup, you are completely wrong. Like, you can do amazing things with drugstore makeup. I'm not saying that I'm amazing at makeup, but, like, drugstore makeup is amazing. Um, so hopefully that proves that to you. If you were, like, one of those high-end snobs that would only buy high-end makeup, then... Hopefully I've changed your mind. And I'm definitely gonna be doing tons more drugstore videos this year. I'm gonna stick at the drugstore, like, stuff, like videos, because that's when my channel started and I've always, always loved drugstore makeup. I would say like 85% of my makeup in my everyday makeup routine is drugstore anyway, so like, you know. If you guys aren't already subscribed to my channel and you did enjoy this video, I would love it so much if you would subscribe and press the little button down there. Um, and yeah. Remember to give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. That was the most awkward thumbs up. I was like, remember to give this video a thumbs up. And um, yeah, that is it from me. Let me know your thoughts down below and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.